Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, why does quicksand make you sink? Have you ever watched a movie with a character walking in some sand and all of a sudden they start sinking? It's a scary thought to be swallowed up by a patch of quicksand, but it's always good to know what it is and how to get out of it. Quicksand, surprisingly, is just ordinary sand saturated in water. Since quicksand needs water, it's not commonly found in deserts, as you might see in TV and movies, but more likely found near a water source, such as beaches, riverbanks, marshes and lakes. If quicksand is made of just sand and water, how do you sink? Quicksand is usually formed when water saturates sand and the sand becomes agitated by either an earthquake or by flowing underground water. The water is unable to escape and can create a liquefied soil. At rest, quicksand can thicken with time, but once it's been agitated, it can move in a liquid-like manner very quickly. Since it acts like a liquid, it cannot hold your weight like dry sand normally would, and you begin to sink. As you struggle more in quicksand and make a lot of movement, the area remains agitated in a liquid-like state, and it becomes more difficult to escape. If you ever find yourself stuck in quicksand, it's best to remain calm. In actuality, your body is less dense than quicksand, which will allow you to float on it. It's recommended to relax your body and first wiggle your legs slowly. This will allow the area around your legs to liquefy again and help loosen the hold. Once your legs are mobile, spread your legs as well as your arms to increase your surface area and lean back. If you're able to get on your back, you should be able to float and paddle your way to safety. Contrary to popular belief, it's not common to drown in quicksand. You may get stuck for a long time, so it's always best to have a companion with you when going for walks in high water concentrated areas. So that answers the question, why does quicksand make you sink? That took some thinking.